Hey, it's Mac. I wanted to quickly touch on a subject that I think a lot of people are wondering and not quite sure what happened. The question is, what happened to the tip-em? Why did Chrysler switch from a tip-em and go back to PDCs, which are in essence, IPOMs? Well, this is what I believe. The most common tip-em that you are familiar with is this style, which was from 2007 through 2020. What was the problem with it? Well, internally, it uses mechanical relays that can fail really early on. Because the relays would fail early on, Chrysler was hit with a lot of lawsuits. And I believe it's because they had so many functions inside one module. A tip of an essence, instead of having 20 or 30 functions, can have 60, 70 or more functions in one module, causing the finger pointing or the blaming to one module when any of these issues come about. By splitting them up, they separated the amount of issues that you can have in one module and in essence made it cheaper as well to repair. So you still have all the functions of a TIPM, but they're now in two separate modules. Let me explain. Here you have a PDC or power distribution center. Now here up top, you can see we have fuses and external relays. Internally, we have a circuit board and internal mechanical relays as well. And those can fail and they do quite often. However, when this fails, you're looking at three, $400 item to replace maybe a bit more versus a tip on which can run seven, 800 or up to $2,000. I hope this video helped clarify the question that many people have as to what happened to tip ohms and why they switched back to PDCs. Comment below with any questions you may have or feel free to call our customer service at any time. They're here to help you. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so you're notified the next time we drop more videos. And as always, thanks for choosing Max.